Hey everybody, this is Grace, and this video I'm going to talk about a woman named Vicki. Okay. Um, she's in her late 50s, and she had started writing on Virtual County about um, her views on relationships. So it's Vicki's views on relationships. And uh, it was just like right before they changed it to where you had to go in and... Um, go into like a grocery store or wear something like that and show your ID with your picture ID with the, your address and uh, only people that did that could get access. It's just for the county, Victorson County. And, um, and it's been around for a long time but they just changed it to that. Plus another one, the only other one in the town that's only for the county, the Outlaw Outcast Online, they started doing it too but nobody had to show their ID. Competition, that kind of thing. But anyway, her her views were kind of, some would say old-fashioned, but they, it, was, it was very popular. And I mean, it was right before they switched it, and then so they switched it, they they, caught, they asked her, they know who she is, um, the people who run it, if she would consider doing something different. Because when they switched to the new one, like right after that, uh, with the, you know, I have to have the picture ID, they also said, it has to be done in pseudonyms, you know, they can't use her real names, and Vicki is her real name, and um, they, um, and that they blur, you know, kind of like a blur, uh, the person's, if they do videos, they blur it all, and uh, also change the voice, so nobody knows who it is. Well, they wanted to switch hers over, and basically for her to kind of start over, she only did one video and uh but she had looked for some views and they asked her if she you know they told her that they had contacted the elders there are two of the elders the elders basically run the county they're like a thousand or so people and that's been their that's their culture they grew up in it um some people are okay with it but they two of them are um counselors and they wanted um they kind of wanted to monitor it, but not. They have some students that will be moderators and, you know, graduate students that are in that kind of field, whatever field. But in the, they said that they talked to her, Vicki. They talked to Vicki and they said, we would love it if you would continue, but, you know, we want to hear your and see your videos before you put them up in case you were, you know, saying something that we, you know, we don't want to get out because we've had trouble with, you know, new people, some people doing, uh, giving out a lot of misinformation and disinformation, and we want to put up a disclaimer that, you know, the general kind of disclaimer that, you know, this does not replace any form of counseling or anything along that line. It's not that, and it's not to replace that. These are just your opinions, and opinions can be wrong, and we want you to make it hypothetical fictional stories that aren't, you know, when you tell it, your experience, don't use real names and try to fictionalize it, you know me, and that, and she, Vicky was fine with it, <laughs> she was like, cool, okay, Vicky, you know, she's, she's got experience, and like I said, she's in late, late 50s, and then they told her that they would pay her for it, and the, her, and she would have a separate channel name called Vicky's Views, and she was, you know, like I said, they want her to send her the, the you know, she, when she makes a video, for her to send it to them, they review it and then they discuss anything if you know. But they, they, they didn't think Vicky was. They had vetted her and they knew that Vicky was just not the type to do, you know, send out misinformation. And she would say, you know, if opinions like in the description box below this video on YouTube, that it would be on Virtual County, you know, something along that line. But each of them, you know, each, um, you know, kind of like a thread or anything they have several like this but any of them would have on it um, these disc disclaimers and people would know it and people would have to sign it when they when they um, you know got on it that they would sign something that says these are you know these can be just opinions and all that <laughs> so everybody would either get it in an email or get it you know whenever they signed it and they needed to read it and all that stuff so okay so Vicki was fine with it and, and also it gave her more money. Now, Vicky wasn't poor. You know, she she wasn't that bad off. But she had wanted to buy a uh, travel trailer. 
and she wanted to move. She doesn't want to sell her house, but she does want to move to different parts of the county. And she had heard that they were opening up some RV parks because they're, they're doing a lot of construction work and um, you know, they need the RV parks for mainly for people coming in to do those. A lot of, uh, you know, construction work, building a lot of ha houses and well, townhouses, condos, apartments, things like this along the border of the county and inside, you know, and, uh, so, and she had heard about that and she said, she, you know, she had heard that they were opening one of them. It doesn't have very many, but for people who want to go there into south of the county and she, she always wanted to do that. And within the county, she doesn't like to drive. <laughs> and, you know, she was, she's not that type, you know, likes to drive that far on a big, you know, travel trailer. So she thought this would be great. You know, she could even pay somebody to move it there. And she just wants the experience of living in different places in the county and getting to know different people, okay? And part of her reason for wanting to get to know different people is that she had developed a bad reputation in her part of the county where she lives, you know, in the town that she lives in, and it wasn't her fault. She, it was the, the men that were supposedly, you know, some of them were actually married when they said they weren't, she was dating them or just they would okay real life's happening a lot of activity here but uh you know they would just they, just, they gave her a bad reputation and she didn't deserve it but she, so she, she wanted to move she wanted to move around she wanted to get to know other people she wanted to make new friends so that this extra money she thought it was great. Okay, you could have came in the right way so you wouldn't be doing all that. <laughs> There's a car next to me, I'm telling you. They're just, they come in, try to park in the wrong way. There was a big diesel behind them. Now it's behind me. Uh, and they're just, they can't get it angled. I don't know who gave them their driver's license, but come in the right way, okay? It's not that difficult. But anyway. Okay, I guess he just decided that he was going to leave. They park just like it is all screwed up. The, the truck next to him is going to have a hard time getting out of it. So, but anyway, um, so, you know, so all this stuff was happening for Vicky and it was like finally her lifetime, her, in her lifetime, something's going better for her. You know, she had been in a disastrous marriage and then divorce and then she start finally started dating she did the online dating thing you know in her 40s and oh 30 late 30s 40s and oh it was horrible for her and you know just like i said she would get a bad reputation she got a bad reputation overall and the women where she was living you know she owns a home there and uh, the women were just like very judgmental toward her they hadn't they didn't want to even consider that it could have been the men. Okay, now most of the, the county is really good, decent, good, decent people. So you would think, you know, they wouldn't blame one, blame the victim. But yeah, they did. Okay, in other words, you know, what I meant to say was, you know, they would take in consideration that maybe she's not the problem, you know, and she wasn't the problem. They were men like they didn't want to tell her that she, they were really married, you know, or just men who were players. You know, and I don't think people use still use that term, but, you know, and then so on. Well, anyway, that's, these are the things that she talked to the elders. It's a married couple that they were uh, counselors, and she talked to them over the phone, you know. They asked her to call, and she did, and she told them, you know, she had met them briefly, but she told them, um, she would talk about this kind of stuff. She didn't ask. She told. You know, that's the type of person she is. You know, she, you know, they told her, you know, be careful what you say. You know, and, but she wasn't intimidated. You know, and they, they, they're paying her a nice salary. So, you know, that way she can buy that RV, which she could have if she sold her house, but she didn't want to do that. Like I said earlier, you know, she wants to travel around for fun sometimes. Okay, sorry, my, my alarm went off, so I had to cut it off again. I keep having to cut this off. Let's see if I can get out of here without somebody slamming into me. Boy, it gets busy. When it gets busy, people are not paying attention. Too many of them. Not everybody, of course. You know, 
in none of my videos do I really say it is just everybody. I'm not an everybody, nobody type, you know, the type that thinks like that and all or nothing, black or white, uh, uh not for me. Anyway, so, um, uh, you know, Vicki, she, she, she's going to do this and she starts doing it and they like it. And they, they had already noticed how popular it was. And it made them wonder, you know, the, the county is a, overall, it's, it's got a lot of property, a lot of property. And like I said, they're expanding it now. It's starting in, starting in 2020. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go down this one because something's over there. But they're, they're expanding it and um, they, they're starting to realize that they have these, because there's some dangerous stuff going on all of a sudden in the county and they don't really know what it is. And people are making threats to the elders of the county, to people who run the computer. The, um, okay, that's, that's, that's what you want to do. That is what you want to do. <laughs> Some people, man, they are first. You got to remember, they are first. Uh, anyway, real life happens during the little video, you know. But anyway, it's just so, they, they realize they don't have enough mental health you know, um, mental health care workers of any kind, and including sociologists, they, they want to include uh, people in, you know, mental health. And the, for the more sociologists, the sociologists that are there, they have been talking about, like, give us a job. You know, <laughs> give us something to do in the county, you know. And so they, they're not going to be, you know, doing any counseling, of course, because they don't have a license. And, uh, they're not licensed, so the only people who are licensed. Um, now that woman was waiting on me. Okay. And she had the right of <laughs> way. Anyway. So, uh, <clears throat> so they, they realize they don't have enough. And now they have these students. And the, the, what I was saying earlier was that the county went on lockdown early 2020. And, uh, because of the problems they're having with these threats and there were so many things in early 2020 that they felt it was a good time to go in lockdown and that's why they're also starting to build all this construction so uh that's when they you know people you know people were happy with it because you know it's just kind of secluded from other places the closest place is the big city which is two hours the closest place from it it's two hours away from the closest place in the county, the northern part. So, but they were they were okay with it because they usually just buy stuff from that other people make, and it's that kind of county. They and they do. I'm not talking just fruits and vegetables and you know, it's, you know meats and stuff like that. These these are people who are very crafty. They they get online virtual county and they show what they're you know just selling and all. So, I know it's jumping around. I, I tried to fit, I fit, thought I fixed it yesterday. It wasn't jumping around. You know, they say, Duck, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah, I fixed it and it broke. So, huh. See how it jumps and jumps and jumps. I, I will. So, anyway, they, um, so they have all this lockdown and everything. And, like I said, they, they realize that they don't have enough mental health care workers. So, her, her, what she, one of, she's one of the people that has written their opinions and their views and stuff on something. Hers was, like I said, on relationships, and uh, they were just shocked. You know, they, they see what they need to try to get more of, as far as, you know, um, mental health care and, other, and the others, and other things, too. So, uh, they're, they're, it's a very wealthy county, very, very wealthy great investors and they were wealthy the people who settled the place were wealthy eons ago practically you know so they're used to things being you know, they're used to having the money to do things that they need and they were just surprised you know there, there's another one that does it on dysfunctional families and they're just surprised at how many people are interested in saying what they're you know what they're saying you know about these different topics so they're going to work on that and uh, on that and they're thinking they are some, you know, they're they're leaning toward doing like relationship coaches, but these would actually that they want them to have their degrees in the helping fields, in you know, mental health fields, and uh, 
Now there'll be coaches. They won't be like they won't be, you know, licensed professional counselors, and they, they'll have their limits, and they want to be the ones that say what are their limits. So that's one thing they're considering, and people for um, you know family coaching. But they're going to limit it. Like I said, these are people who have to have what it takes, what it really takes, not just anybody who decides they want to be a coach. But, uh, people who have the education. And they will be grilled <laughs> to find out if they do. So, anyway, so Vicky's one of them. Vicky's just one of them that um, spurred it, spurred this into action, and helped. Anyway, you know what? I think I'm going to wrap it. This this thing of it jumping is irritating me. So I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.